I love you. There, I said it. I'm not just on some chalkboard. I would never let anybody or anything hurt you. Man, listen. After reading the first few chapters, I wasn't sure my mental state could even continue after that depressive assault. Got me ready to drink my life away. But if it's anything I've learned from watching all those Don Bloot films back in the day, no matter how bad or depressing a story gets, as long as it has a happy ending, it's all right in the end. So we persevere and we move on. So let's begin. After we returned to the workshop, I bowled some water to wash her back. Strangely enough, there was no foul smell, but the lack of hygiene was clearly obvious. Oh my god, look at all those scars on her back and on the side of her shoulder. Oh man. Even when I took off her torn clothes in the bathroom, she didn't seem to react at all. And when I saw all the scars on her back, it was painfully obvious that she had lost all of her emotions. After I finished washing her body, I could clearly see the malicious scars on her white skin, my head. I calmly thought of a recipe for the ointment, but my hand just kept trembling with anger as I changed the bandage. I don't blame you at all. I'd be highly angry too. Herbal ointment was applied to all external wounds of her body, covering them with galea leaves to stimulate skin recovery without leaving any mark behind. Then clothes soaked in slime fluid were applied to protect the skin. The clothes are changed every three days or so. Oh, she's looking a little better. Inadvertently, I forgot to buy her some clothes, so with the medicine and crops as gifts, I asked a friend from the village if I could have some of her old clothes for my new patient, and she gladly gave them to me. I was grateful. It was kind of sweet of her. Oh, look at her kid. That's nice. When Rizuri woke up, I dressed her and combed her hair, finally settling her into a girl-like appear. It's a perhaps due to the relief I felt seeing her reformed presence. I suddenly felt two days worth of drowsiness and fatigue overwhelming me. I don't blame it's a lot of work, but I mean, look at her. She's looking a little better. I mean, her figure's still lovely, you know, despite everything. She's still beautiful. beautiful to me. Battling my sleepiness, I fed Rosuri dinner. She started trembling in the middle of it, which made me worried at first, but. Then I realized in my exception with her scars, I completely forgot about her basic needs and made her hold it in for two whole days. Is it too cold? No, maybe too hot? Mm. I knew she'd be present, but eating liquid food all the time is probably not enjoyable. I might need to get her dentures. I also wonder if she has any internal damage and the progression of necrosis on her limbs is concerning too. Yeah, because her arms are starting to rot. Oh, dear God. There is always the option of using a high potion which recovers the body's physical in exchange for reducing the user's lifespan due to the sudden increase in metabolism. But with my current equipment and knowledge, it would be quite... Uh, my arms feel... Yeah, he's so tired. Man, working hard to make sure she's all right. But I mean, look at her skin and everything. It seems like it's working. So the medicine's doing some wonders so far. That's what's up. Looks like I passed out from the exhaustion after carrying Missouri to bed. When I came to, it was early morning, but she was already wide awake and just sitting there. There are many ways to require medical ingredients, but I mainly grow them myself, and I would rather, really rather not let my field go unattended. Meanwhile, I had Missouri sit outside and enjoy the sun. I mean, he got to multitask. I mean, by himself, too. I know it's got to be difficult. Poor thing. She can feel the wind on her skin but she can't see it and probably it's probably a little painful to feel because of her scars and wounds not too long after i left her alone her quiet sobs started reaching me as i worked out the field in my garden i didn't know the reason for her tears but i could imagine that it wouldn't be easy for me a male human just like her captors to help her emotionally i kept silently working until she stopped crying and before i knew it it was at his end Despite still having Missouri to worry about, I opened my store not long after. Mine and the daughter of the friend who gave me clothes for Missouri came. Oh, that was her daughter. Sorry. <laughs> it's manga. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Your uncle's bride, Missouri. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. I kept answering. I, I, ah, look at I, I didn't mess up. I kept answering Mon's questions to Missouri. 
NSD as I continue my work. I'm not sure if this something is sloppily made will be any good. The entry to Rosary, the poem, Child's Innocence. I wonder if she saw how she looked with that flower burn on her hand. thing. As the rest, I recovered my slim, but I should at least try giving her the eye drops that I have. Okay, that's what's up. Recovery will take a while. I need to care for her skin, give her eye drops, make her food that's easy on the stomach, give her plenty of sleep and massage, and reposition her to help with blood, blood circulation. In the meantime, I have been working on her dentures. You did well. This should be good enough for now. That's what's up, okay? Hear her heart beat. It's awfully weak. Oh, poor thing. He did say that she might have eternal damage, so her heartbeat being weak might be one of them. Using literature from the central library as the reference, I chiseled some teeth out of boar tusks, covered the parts that connected to her mouth with water dragonfish skin. Water dragonfish? No, oh, that's that sounds cool. And used slime to hold the dentures in place. It was hard to get the right size, but it was probably even harder for Rosuri to endure days of me readjusting her new teeth. Nevertheless, the dentures were eventually completed. So hot with the candle. That's what's up, though. That's cool. Her limb necrosis had indeed been slowly progressing at that rate. Asking, asking a friend for help, which I don't do often, started to seem like the only option I had. I was pondering. A course of action, a local cattleman stopped by and I helped him with, with his lower back the other day. And he bought me a large amount of meat as thanks. Okay, he's trying to be. He really saved me. That's what's up. Putting a portion of the meat into a preservation, I decided to cook the rest. The tough parts went into a stew together with some southern spices. Okay, man's a doctor and a cook. Okay, that's what's up. Even I hadn't had meat in a while, and I was wondering how much longer I'd been for reserve. She tasted it. She couldn't hold back her reaction. I was relieved to see her happily stuffing her cheeks without a care in the world. Then she seemed to be working it out well, too, for the time being. What's up? She's eating solid food. Okay, progress. Progress. She's so look at her. She's crying because that's the first time she had a real decent meal. I wrote a message to an old friend, hoping that he could help me with Zuri's limbs. There are many methods of delivery, but the only one I knew how to use via a messenger crow. As we were spending days waiting for an answer, Rizuri seems to be slowly regaining her responsiveness. See, Rizuri, yeah, she is. She's getting better at her senses gotta compensate for the ones that she doesn't have and just when i started hoping that she might even start talking soon she felt ill with something unusual this blow to her health really came out of nowhere and yeah she's still weak despite everything that's sad and you know her immune system is in the yeah, yeah her symptoms included fever spasms difficulty in breathing bloodshot eyes and distinct redness on her chest the exact same symptoms that are caused by a bit uh, bite of an obsidian spider seeing as how she was coughing up blood oh god I, I could only assume that she had that she had given her a slow acting poison. Oh man. Obsidian spiders are massive but relatively timid. Still they possess a potent venom that's been used for assassination since ancient times. However, people in this village shouldn't know about this spider, and the pawnbroker isn't that kind of person either. This only left one suspicion suspect her previous owner. But I mean, why would he why would he do that? Berserk. The poison had only just started spreading, so her curing, so curing her was still a possibility. I made cleanse out her stomach using charcoal powder and gave her Laumann Senai Astract to encourage the body to expel the poison. A full and shared object like a pill came out of her body, including a gas machine. Just a little more. It was some sort of husk waiting to be an actual clinical pill, along with some infant writing, together with something that appeared to be a curse mark. This was just my intuition as an apotheric, uh, apotheric, apotheric, but considering the state that she was in when I met her, all the wounds and now the poison too, as if I was telling, telling her, go die somewhere when no one is going to care about you. I could feel uncontrollable rage building up in my stomach, but I still had to treat Missouri first. That's so fucked up. The antidote requires a few ingredients that can only be found out in the wild. I asked Monette and Monette's mother, Anne, to look after Rosuri while I would be out. Reluctantly, I also told them what to do in case her condition suddenly deteriorated. Rosuri san just wait a bit longer. You'll get better soon. Yeah, she's doing well. She's, you know. I mixed mandagorum roots, some of the original poison from the obsidian spider's liver to produce antibodies. Clever. Attribute converting mana stones and, meta and medicinal herbs condensed into a lipid base and use a dwarf made dragon fang needle to inject it into Rizuri's shoulder. It took me two days to collect everything. 
but probably thanks to Monet and Nan's care, she was holding up well. That's amazing. That's astounding. He is giving his all for her, and I'm happy for it. Miss Hot Painful Dark going to someone's calling me. Brazeri, a big kind hand who is Brazeri's son. Don't worry, it better. Chirp, chirp, I see light. She can see. Oh! The antidote seemed to have worked, and Missouri not only regained consciousness, but was also able to start speaking. I believe with difficulty. Surprisingly, she even regained some of her eyesight, now able to tell apart light and darkness. That's what's up. The reasons were unclear to me, but it looked like the Managorn's reactor properties combined with the reversing effects of mana stones both had removed the poison and had a restoration effect on her optic nerves. That is incredible. Oh, thanks. She spoke! So thank you for her recovery as well. She didn't really seem to understand the situation. I tried asking for her hometown, nicknames and other things, but to no avail. Perhaps her mind was still hazy or maybe she'd been repressing her memories as a defense mechanism. But either way, she didn't remember her life before coming to this village. And yet I could sense that hope, sense the hope that she held for the future. In her words, expressions, it made me feel like she had saved me a little bit too. That is amazing. She regained her eyesight. He gave her new teeth. Her skin's gotten a little bit better and she even survived the poison. That is amazing. Truly, truly amazing.